Hey, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the iPhone screenshots template. You're going to save a lot of time with this template. With this template you can quickly render the four different screenshot sizes that you need to bundle with an iPhone app from a single size. You can put your screenshot inside an iPhone, you can add some text and some cool building blocks to create better screenshots and there's obviously one-click export actions that allows you to export up to five separate screenshots at a time which makes for a total of 20 screenshots with just one click. What you need to do this is the files that you downloaded from applypixels.com, this folder here, which has a PSD file inside it, an actions file and a readme file. And you need a copy of Photoshop, preferably Creative Cloud 15 and later. Before we get started, you need to remember to import the actions file that we'll use in a moment. Double click the ATN file and that will add the actions to your actions pane. You'll notice this folder called iPhone screenshot template. If you can't find your actions pane, you'll always be able to find it by going to window and hitting actions. Let's make some screenshots. Open up the main PSD file. Looks something like this. So the idea here is to edit one size and have the other sizes automatically rendered. And the way that we do this is we use nested smart objects. And in your layers pane here on the right hand side, you'll find a layer called edit me and save. You wanna right click that and hit edit contents. This opens up your screenshot PSP file and it's in this canvas that you'll create your different screenshots. Now you'll notice that I've already placed some building blocks here that you can use to create some cool screenshots, but you can use the canvas however you like. You can paste your screenshot directly here or you can use some of the stuff that comes bundled with this template. Let's just take a look at that in the layers pane out here at the right hand side. First of all, we have a folder called guides which shows you where the screenshot will be cropped on three and a half inch iPhones. Then we have five very important folders. These are the folders in which you will create your five different screenshots if you're attempting to export all five different screenshots in one go, it is extremely important that you create each individual screenshot within these folders and that you do not rename the folders in any way. Otherwise, the actions might fail. So inside each of these little screenshot folders, you actually have a bunch of cool little building blocks. First of all, a lot of people like to add text to their screenshots. I've got that set up for you right here. You can change this text to anything. This is a cool screenshot. A lot of people like to place their screenshots within the actual hardware and I've prepared that for you as well. And you even got different colors for it. So you can go with the gold one or you can go with a uh, silver one. Now bear with me, we might go a little inception here. But if you want to place your screenshot inside this iPhone, I've got another smart object nested inside this smart object called place your screenshot here. You want to right click you want to hit edit contents. Now you paste your screenshot in here of your app, your game, whatever you're trying to do. For demonstration purposes, let's just turn this into a wonderful hue of, uh, of red. Fantastic. We save that out. We go one step back. Now you see that your screenshot is neatly scaled within this template. Maybe we even want to change the background of this thing uh, into, let's say, Cool blue. Great. Once you're done with this screenshot, you're gonna hit Command S on a Mac or Control S on a Windows PC. And uh, when it's done saving, you can close up this smart object. We're now back to the main icon PSD file. And as you can see, all of the sizes have been rendered out for us. Magic. We even have a neat little preview of what it would look like on the App Store. Once you're done and you're happy, you will find your actions pane and you'll find the folder that we just imported, the iPhone screenshots template. And if you find the first action, it's called export single screenshot, all sizes. Let's just try and run that. It'll give us a dialog box. We'll hit save, save it. If we go to our desktop, what you'll see now is that Photoshop has created a folder called iPhone screenshot files. And if we open up that folder, we now have the specific sizes for the four different screenshots. Sweet. As you might have guessed it from this second action, you can also export all five different screenshots in one go. You go back in and hit edit content and you then populate each of the different screenshot folders. That's screenshot one, and then you create screenshot two, and screenshot three and four and five and so on. You don't actually don't have to create all of them. You can create any number of them you want, but it will spit out all five. You can just delete the ones that you don't use if you don't have to make exactly five. And again, 
I can't emphasize it enough. You want to keep everything exactly in this order. You can't rename the folders. You can't put any layers outside of the folders. You need to keep them like that. And you need to have them all visible when you hit save and you go back out. Now we haven't made five different screenshots, but I'm going to run the action anyway, just to show you that it actually works. This action will take a little longer. Photoshop will methodically go in and out of the smart object and save out and export each different size in its own folder. And once it's done, you can go to your desktop, wherever you saved it, find the folder iPhone screenshot files, and there you have five individual folders with the four different sizes of screenshots. That is enormously cool. If you've ever made screenshots for an app, you know how much time this actually saves you. And now that we didn't actually make the five different screenshots, each of these screenshots here will look the same, but you get the idea. You can get this template and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member of applypixels.com. I really hope that this helps you shave off some of the many hours that we all spent creating these screenshots. Thanks for watching.